Hello teachers and welcome to this short video tutorial on how to use the text-to-speech feature that is built into Mac OS. Now I've pulled up The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe in my Safari browser and I want to first demonstrate that without touching any particular uh, settings in system preferences you can always go into text in Safari, highlight the text, right click, hover over speech, and then click Start Speaking, and listen to the first line of the raven. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. Now I don't have to do that specifically with uh, a selection of text. I could do this just with a single word. Forgotten. So that I can pronounce words that perhaps I don't know, or multiple syllable words. But to really get the convenience of this going, I'm going to open up from my Apple menu my System Preferences. And from System Preferences, we're going to find the Speech to Text features under the Accessibility category, and then highlight over where it says Speech. Now we can turn on a shortcut whereby any text that we have selected across any app begins automatically speaking when we hold down, for example, the Option and Escape key. Uh, that's generally the default. Other people have it set as Option and Spacebar. Of course, you can click the Change Key button to set it to any combination that you like, but just be careful about repeating uh, that keystroke with other common keystrokes uh, that you might be using. Now, if we take a look at the top of this screen, you'll also notice that we can adjust the system voice by clicking on Alex and then Customize. There's tons of other voice options. Uh, some of these uh, pronounce the text with a, a foreign accent or uh, in another language. Uh, so you do want to stick to those English US voices for the most part. And you can also adjust the speaking rate. So if you feel like uh, the text to speech voice is too slow, you can move uh, the slider up a little bit or down a little bit as you see fit. You can also preview the voice as well by clicking the play button before you commit to that. Now that we've set up Option Escape and explored the speech pane, I'm going to close this System Preferences window and I'm going to go back to the Raven. Uh, when I highlight the text now, instead of using my right click, I should be able to use my keyboard shortcut of Option Escape to play the text. Let's see what happens. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December. I also hit the Option Escape button there to pause or stop the reading at the uh, word December. So that's a quick tutorial on using the text-to-speech options. Remember this can be a great resource for those students struggling with reading themselves, reading certain texts such as primary sources or even poetry, um, and also can be accommodation for your English language learners. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. Uh, hopefully this will help your students. And be sure to explore the rest of those accessibility features that I showed you in System Preferences if you're looking for creative ways to reach all of your student learners.